Meanwhile, in Brockton, a dozen people are without a home tonight after a house fire spread fast. Good Thursday evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Priscilla Casper. We know that fire started in the basement and then quickly reached the attic as you firefighters trying to put a hole in this house to have this vent. Our NBC 10's Jericho Tran joining us live from Brockton with what firefighters say caused this fire to spread so quickly. Jericho. Well, there's two factors here, Priscilla. It's the wind that has been blowing all day, so that really caused the fire to start, that started in the basement to spread all the way up. And it's also the framing of the house. Once the fire hit that wood framing, it just spread all the way up to the attic. Right now, we've been here from, from the beginning when firefighters were putting out this fire, when crews were boarding up the house, and now you can see what is left. If you look down here, there is a mattress. We saw them tossing that out of the top window. And like you said, this displaced 12 people. This is Milo. He's dodging firefighters to get through the door at 31 Otis Street. The home he's known for 14 years went up in flames this morning. The first thing I did was grab the dog and start yelling at everybody, to, let's go, get out, get out. Milo's owner is one of the 12 people living inside this home, including eight adults and four children, now displaced by the fire. Despite his attempts to extinguish the flames, I started throwing a little bit of water because it was small. It looked small. He ended up grabbing Milo and running outside. By the time the fire department came, it was done. It was gone. The house was gone. I see stuff flying around in um, the window. I pulled the curtain and there was smoke. 13 year old Adrian Lord is one of the four kids who lives inside. He was working on his homework when he saw the smoke and quickly called his mom. He just screamed, like, oh, the house is on fire. So thank God um, he was able to wake up his father and they all ran outside. Over 60 firefighters battled the flames. Telling NBC 10 Boston the fire started in the basement of the home. Any windy day is not good for firefighting because once you got one part of the building open, fire is going to be pushed very quickly by the wind. Quickly spreading to the top floor. Once it gets in the walls, it can travel all the way to the attic space unimpeded. Another live look here at the damage. You can see someone's clothes right here. There's a door, the mattress once again that we just showed you. So a lot of damage here, but the good news is that everyone made it out okay. Uh, the home is actually not a complete loss. Firefighters tell me that this can be rebuilt. A lot of the families uh, that were displaced have been relocated to hotels by the Red Cross, but the big question right now is how did this fire start? That is still under investigation. In Brockton, Jericho Tran, NBC10 Boston.